can't give me a disability for wanting to be paid fairly. It is either PTO or a writer, but I'm already in Mexico. I can't believe you're trying to scam money up me. Get over yourself. So we're here with Jay. Jay, mate, talk to me. What, what, what's your story? Um, so essentially, I come here a job. I really like the job. I uh, like the people I work with. It's just the person I work for that I have a project with. Okay. And my issue is, do I look for a new job or stay in this one because I do like the job and I do like the people. What is it you do? I'm a restaurant manager. Have you been there long? About a year now. Okay. And uh, have you worked for this person the whole time or is this a new new sort of relationship? Uh, the whole time. C- can you give me some of the specifics of where you're having issues? The biggest one of the issue is holiday pay at the minute. Right. He told me two weeks ago that we've all got into our holidays by April. If not, we lose out on it. We won't pay for them. And okay. so, obviously, I took it as my duty to find out how many holidays everyone has. Yeah. Everyone has so they could know. And then, when I'm asked it, he's not giving me an answer. He was like, I'll get around to you. And then, obviously, I must it again. And he says, he'll sort it, but he's not getting sorted. He's also wanting us to say, we need weeks off at a time. He says, like, you can't take him less than a week because it confuses him. Hang on. His justification for that was it confuses him if people take less than a week off. Yes, that was my wow. reaction as well. I've heard many things before. I've never heard a manager try and defend their behaviour because they can't do multiples of five only. Um, that's absolutely ludicrous. Um, he's definitely not allowed to do that. That's really unreasonable what he's suggesting. What What would the ideal scenario be for you here? Because obviously you like the location. Because ordinarily, if you have a bad boss, you know, the obvious answer is to try and find a new role. But it sounds like you like the place who you are and like the team. So what would you ideally like to get out of it? So the annoying thing is, with Lassie, I like working with the star I'm at, and obviously, the upside thing is he owns every single one in my hotel, so it's like, right. I can't, if I went to a different one in my hotel, it, it'd still be there, you know, so it's like... Got you. He, he, he sounds just very unorganised, is that a fair way, or just really in, Ill, in, Ill, inconsiderate of what he's actually looking for, is that is that a fair assessment? Yeah, it's just, it's obviously has a lot of problems for me because it's obviously if I have tried to do what's so can but there's only so much I can do. Is there like a central team, like an operational team, like a finance team? No, he essentially, he runs it all. Right, okay. So people just struggle to keep on top of everything is because he's trying to balance all this stuff himself and it's not really getting his properly. If you were to hypothetically sign something off without, is he kind of, would he, is he a ask for forgiveness kind of guy or do you think, does he really like to be a, over all the detail all the time. There's um, a story about that actually. Um, I had a coffee at work once and obviously we're meant to pay for it on our brace and stuff like that. And I forgot to pay when leaving, as you do. So I've had an old manager at this point asking me if I paid for it. I said, no, I haven't. I said, I'll pay for it tomorrow. I'm in tomorrow anyway. I'll pay for it when I come down. He sent me, he wrote me a letter saying I was from the company and I what? had to reply to that email and apologise for it. And say, after again, even though it was honest to say, I paid for it at the end. So. Jay, mate, that, that that's. That's fucking crazy what he just did. That that's absolutely ludicrous. He's accused you of theft, basically. Yeah. Wow. So do you know what? That's such a revealing story. So think about what you've told me, by the way, up until now. He he's too busy to assign like really important details around HR, around holiday pay and all of that sort of thing. But he has time to write a letter specifying that which he just did to you. Like that is absolutely yeah. crazy. Like, that's such like a, it, he's like the worst type. He's incredibly controlling, but he's controlling about the wrong things. And so what he's, he's kind of the co- combination of very controlling in the sense he's not letting you do your job properly in the sense of, for example, you should have full control over that rotor. Do you see what I mean? You should be able to assign people's holidays. You should be able to say yes to all these different things. The fact that he's not allowing you to do that is so silly, just straight away. Just from, not least because of you guys, because obviously you're now in a situation where you lose holiday, but actually structurally for a business, that makes zero sense. But then on the other yeah. side, he's just not doing, he's not doing, the basics right he's not go no structure he's obviously far too stretched and then just focusing on weird weird shit like that's absolutely crazy yeah. that he's writing that letter when he hasn't dealt with things like holiday pay and stuff like that so i so this this is a bad boss mate this, this is not a good boss what you have like truly what can i do what 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 would you like because there's two options here i can walk you through how you can potentially leave or I can walk you through how we can try and solve the problem because it sounds like employment wise you might struggle where you are if he owns a lot of the other locations is that is that true yeah okay you need you do need to address this though I think you need to try and book in a meeting with him and like yeah. you need to keep the men- meeting really simple. You need to pick two or three things. Because the problem with someone like him is he- he'll start latching onto random different things. You can't overwhelm them with detail. You need to pick two or three of the most important things. And you give him a heads up and say, look, there's a few things I need to talk to you. 
and you need to kind of get him to sign them off in a way that's going to make him say yes in the sort of like he'll get very defensive if you say it's not helping all that sort of thing so it has to be a positive meeting and the positivity yeah. is that look the business is growing it's going really well the concern i have is you're so busy with so many important things that a few things that i would love to be able to help you out with you're not letting me do and so i think the goal of the meeting should be to get you more freedom within your job to make these quite what i would consider like basic parts of your duties right you're in charge of the restaurant that includes the team and so basic hr management duties of that team should fall for you and so i think what you should say to him is look i would like to take on a little bit more responsibility for you in the restaurants you know all the sort of stuff that you don't have time that you know is important but you don't have time for like pay and all of that sort of thing holidays etc I would like to take that on. And, and the trick to is, is to just give him an opportunity to say yes. So don't give him a chance to then go away and sketch out the system. You come to him with the detail and you say, look, here are the three things that I think we should do. Here's how I think we should do them. Would you be okay, okay with it? Because if he has the plan in front of him and you can try and get that time and sit down, try and do it face to face if you can, like calls, if he's on the move, all that sort of thing, he won't be able to focus on the detail. But the trick is to have the plan all sketched out because the problem with someone like this is because he's so busy and because he thinks certain things are important and the wrong things aren't important, what he'll do is he'll take the plan away and then take you six months to actually come up with the actual plan. So I think what you have to do is go with that plan within place and say, look, this is what I want you to do. Here are the two things. And then basically really sketch it out with that detail and say, look, if this works, I'd like to just implement it. So basically all you need is the rubber stamp and then you can go and wait and do it. Because otherwise I think you're going to end up just chasing. Because I'm guessing at the moment you're just sending him emails or texts being like, have you got that holiday stuff? And he's just going, yeah, yeah, yeah I'll come back to you. And that's all he's doing. Is that basically what's yeah, happening yeah, yeah. so far? Wait. Yeah. So so you need, to, you need to escalate that. You need to take that step forward and be a little bit, try and be a bit more proactive with, and this isn't your fault, by the way, let me be very clear. This is hip, you covering for his weaknesses. But sadly, like that's just, the unfairness of the situation is that you're going to have to do more for him than him for you which isn't right it's not fair but that's just the situation but that's absolutely that that the two things that really just tell me is a shocker is that letter for thieving i don't know what he's playing out there and that weird thing what's you can't have a long weekend so if you just want to take friday off you have to book the whole week off because he can't count to three like that's just so stupid so you've been there a year. When was the last time you took a week off? Yeah, I've never had a full week off. Yeah, I had one week off once, and that's when I went into surgery, and that was the only time I've had a week off. Did you just say the only time you've taken a week off was for surgery? Uh, yeah, I had a sm small surgery, and then obviously hospital advised the week off, but that's the only time I've had that J work of time off. J-Man, that's not a holiday. <laughs> Are you a full time? You're sort of. I mean, you're, um, you're unbelievably full time, but you're contract wise, you a full time employee. Uh, yes. And in that contract, does it not say you have a certain amount of holidays a year by law? Uh, yes, it says uh, twenty days a year. So, so how come you're not taking those holidays? Just because it's hard to get around to taking them, but I feel like when I do take them, it's like not really holidays because even when I'm off of work, I'm getting messages from him saying. Oh well, why want this done? Why is this not being done? Oh, oh, how come this has happened? Well, I'm like, I don't know why like, I'm not there. Do you own any of the restaurant? Do you own any of the shares? Do you own any of uh, Do you own any of the equity in the restaurant? Anything like that? Uh, no, no. Then, then I, I, I really need you to hear me because your team is so lucky to have you. It is not your responsibility as to what happens in that restaurant when you're on holiday. It's not your responsibility. It's just not. It's his job. It's his restaurant. If he's he if he's not got a setup where covers not made, and I know that's very easy for me to say, but I do think you need to hear this because you're going to kill yourself, man. Like you're going to burn yeah. yourself out. You must feel you must feel exhausted the whole time. Is that a fair assessment? Uh, yeah. Yeah. You've, you've got to be a little bit selfish here, man. Like you're taking a huge amount yeah. of responsibility onto your team. You really are, and you're credit. Your God, you're a credit to the team, and they're lucky to have you but you've got to look after yourself a little bit. Like what he is doing is simply not acceptable. I, I need you I need you to hear me say that. It's not acceptable what he's doing to you. Look, this is what's going to happen. Like I need you to, you need, you need to be proactive with him. See, this can't go on, right? This is going to reach a tipping point. So it's better to head this off sooner rather than later. It's better to have a small argument now or a smaller confrontation now than it is to have a massive one in six months time. Because I promise you, that's the situation you're heading towards. So that's a really important message. So speak to the other restaurant managers, see where they're at, do it one-on-one, -on -one, just have a little chat and then really think about how, what if you were to pick two or three things that would make your life infinitely easier to help you do a good job, sketch out the proper plan and then book in that time with him and sit him down and go through it and try and get that sign off. So that's, that's task one that I'm going to give you. 
Task two is I want you to sit down this afternoon, identify at least two weeks in the, over the next three months that you're going to take off and I want you to put that in the diary and get that process going. Just trust me on this, mate. You can't keep doing what you're doing. You just can't. Are you going to do that for me? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, yeah. and trust me, yeah. if he really, 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 really kicks off and starts being completely unreasonable, put me in touch. I've got some very good lawyers I can support you with if it came down to it. Yeah, yeah, that'd be great. Yeah. Well, look, mate, best of luck. Will, are you going to tell I will follow up to make sure you've taken the holiday. You know that, don't you? Yeah, I will. I will yeah. <laughs> but mate look full credit to you okay look your work ethic is genuinely inspirational your team are so lucky to have you the the only person you're not looking after in your team is yourself and so it's time to give jay a little love as well if that's all right well look thanks for taking the time to speak to me okay look after yourself okay yeah you too, cheers, cheers. Thank care, you.